Hey everyone and welcome to the new Circuit Miss Behind the Scenes vlog. So I wanted to talk a bit about the different types of components that we use at Circuit Miss. So when you take a look of the electronic components, there's lots of different types of electronic uh, circuitry, of electronic microchips, or all these different buttons. But there are actually two main types of electronic components. The first type is called the THT components, which stands for Through Hole Technology Components. These tiny push buttons that I have in my hand here, they are the THT Through Hole uh, components. What does that mean? Where well, it's actually quite simple. These components go through a board, through a hole on a circuit board, like this, and they are placed so that they go through this tiny hole. That is where the name actually comes from. So as you, you as you can see, you can place them like this, and the tiny legs of the electronic component, they go to the bottom of the circuit board. The second main type of electronic components are called SMT, or sometimes they call them SMD. This stands for Surface Mount Technology or Surface Mount Devices. The surface mount devices are all of these tiny microchips that you can see here that go onto the surface of the circuit board, but they don't go through the hole. Usually, the way we do it at CircuitMess is that we mount the surface mount components using these big machines here, and we'll leave the fun through hole components to be soldered by you guys at your home when you get our CircuitMess kits. Now, let me just tell you a bit more about how these uh, surface mount components are actually placed onto the circuit board. So, in my previous videos, I was already explaining that for the circuit boards, we need to create a big panel like this. We need to apply solar paste using a machine like this one. And then it goes into this machine where the components are placed onto the circuit board. What's super fun about this is that these components actually come in this form so they are basically like a movie tape. So you have these things which are called reels. Each reel has a specific component. And as you can see, the component is actually placed in these tiny stripes. And all of these tiny spaces here were once filled with an electronic component. In this case, this is a tiny resistor. If we want to place these electronic components, into this machine here, then we need to use these big steel um, things which are called the feeders. So it's actually very self-explanatory. The feeders, they feed the components into the machine here. But we have lots of different types of components. As you can see, we have a white reel, we have a blue reel, we have a black reel, but we also have lots of different types of reels. As you can see, some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller, and we actually have this whole shelf which is filled with these different uh, feeders for different types of components. Usually have, you have like a few standard sizes of these reels, but you need to have lots of these different feeders which are actually usually very, very expensive. Sometimes, you know, it's actually more expensive to buy these feeders than it is to buy, you know, a whole machine uh, like this, you know, because you have so many different types of components. The components can actually come in one more packaging, and this is the one that uh, my fellow colleagues at CircuitMess usually hate because it's a bit harder to manage, and that is a plastic tube. So some of the components come in these tubes, and they are mounted on a special way. So let me show you at the back of the machine here. They're mounted using this thing, and this is called the vibration feeder. So the way this works is you actually have um, this feeder right here, which is constantly vibrating. I can actually feel it if I put my finger right here. And by vibrating, it's actually making the components slowly come out of the tiny tubes here so that the nozzles of the main machine can pick them up and place them onto the electronic circuit board here. Finally, 
when the pick and place machine picks, the, picks these components up, it's very important to have a set of cameras here. These four cameras are actually looking at the four nozzles here so that they can rotate and see if they have picked the components correctly. Nothing is perfect, so sometimes the components actually flip or they decide to jump off. Uh, so because of that, this machine has optical inspection so that it can check and uh, basically catch these errors on the go. Finally, let me show you this thing. So this is a set of different nozzles. So we mount this on the machine depending on the different components that we have. As you can see, there's lots of different nozzles here. That's because we have lots of different components. Sometimes, you know, you need lots of different nozzles to pick these different components up because you have, you know, very big chips like this one here. This is called the ESP32 and it's the main uh, processor of the whole device but also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But sometimes you need to pick up something real, really small like this resistor array here or these tiny resistors here near the USB port. Anyways, uh, let me know if you're enjoying these videos. I will continue filming and showing you the behind the scenes look at CircuitMess. And uh, thank you so much for supporting our work. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.